So paper tuning sucks. Uh, that's, that's where I'm at right now. It works good and it's a great starting point, but it sucks. Sometimes when you shoot, everything works smooth. A couple shots, you got you a bullet hole. Other time you're spending half a day trying to figure something out. And uh, that's where I was at the other day. So I finally got the new bow to shoot a bullet hole. And then with anything with paper tuning, don't get too wrapped up in the paper tuning or anything like that because paper tuning is just a good starting point. It's a good reference. You'll still go back and do your walk back tuning and everything. And uh, you'll make some changes as you go into your walk back tuning and to your rest and everything else. But what I do, I like bare shaft tuning more than anything because a bare shaft does not lie and it makes it so much easier when you, if you bare shaft tune before you go and do your walk back tune. So that's where we're at right now. And this video today is kind of like single moms. It's a package deal because I'm revealing the new hunting bow. So everybody has been asking me, they seen I switched to Elite halfway through the season. And I've been getting messages on why I switched from Athens, what's happened. Am I not working with Athens, dealing with Athens? Uh, am I not shooting to Athens, whatever? I am not sponsored by any way, shape, form, or anything by any bow company right now. And I like doing testing. Um, and I switched and I did a video where later back where I shot the Envision versus the Vista. And then a new bow come out. And it's the Athens Elevate, and I have shot this bow and kept shooting and shooting and shooting and going back and shooting it. And I absolutely love the draw cycle on this bow. It holds great for me. And I love the new color. This is their new Willow. Um, this bow is 70 pounds, 27 and a half inch draw, a little bit over 27 and a half with the D loop. Uh, it's shooting a 400 grain arrow at 286 feet per second the bow feels awesome it's got the integrate rest system on it which was a deal breaker for me the lower stabilizer mount right above the limb pocket it's an awesome awesome bow and uh, it just looks flat out sexy so but for now i finally got it paper tuned and now we're going to go back and we're going to do the bear shaft tune. So I wanted to show y'all how I go through my bear shaft tune and it just gets it just small tweaks. It's kind of like adjusting a carburetor. Small tweaks makes a big difference. So we'll get into the bear shaft tuning. So the biggest thing with bear shaft tuning is what I see people do is they'll shoot a fletch shaft with their fletchings on it and then they will shoot a bear shaft with absolutely nothing. No fletchings, no nothing, just a slick bear shaft and everything else. And uh, they start to notice when they go back to their walk back tune that, you know, it, it, it wasn't right. And uh, they might have gave them a different reading out at a further distance with their fletch shaft. Or they have a little bit of trouble trying to get it to fly good with their fletch shaft. And the reason for that is, is you cannot shoot a slick bear shaft and think that it does the same as a fletch shaft because that's extra weight. Your bear shaft is going to be a stiffer spine than with your fletchings. Uh, on that arrow. So the best thing to do and what I do is just get plain electric tape and I will wrap electric tape or any kind of tape around the shaft and get my grains and weigh my arrows out and get the grains exact. That way, you know, it's still bare shaft today. It's, it's going to tell me the truth no matter what, whether I like it or not. And uh, it's still the same grain. So let's uh, weigh these out and see what these come up to and see how close I got. Okay, so flint shaft coming in. It says three, 397.4, 398. Point four, so right at about a grain. And I could take off more of this just because I'm OCD, but I'm not going to. So we're good. I'm gonna move this four clicks up, which should give us, should give me a knock low reading. They've done it. I'm 
I'm gonna put this thing right at the back of this arrow. So as you can tell, looking at these two, these two shafts, the fletch shaft looks like it went in pretty straight, fairly decent. And then you look at the bottom shaft and it's kicked down, the knock is kicked down and it's a little left. So it is knock low and left a little bit. So we'll readjust for that and go back up or go back down our six clicks. Okay, so we're down our six clicks. It should put it right in there close with it. Uh, yeah, bear shafts are good. Hope that didn't ruin that arrow. Yeah, buddy. So, yeah. I'll have to grab another arrow because that, uh, that knock's done. Bear shafts are good. Nope, oh, we're all good. So I'll grab another arrow and then uh, I'll set that rest up back to where it's off and take it low to where it's two knock high and then uh, we'll go from there. Okay, so now this is saying that that, even though we went down, it's saying that it's, it's a little knock low, but it hit the arrow shaft. So I'm gonna reshoot that one. So we're still shooting a pretty good pretty tight with our other arrow. So I keep having an issue of hitting the arrow shaft and then the arrow shaft is giving me a different reading than what it actually is. So I'm gonna shoot at a different spot and then compare the two. Okay, that's more like it. So there's the fletch shaft. And then there's the shaft that's knock high. Of course, we over-exaggerated it and I almost bought the rest out. But I'm gonna move the rest back and then shoot again. And that's about as good as it's gonna get. So that's what I do on bear shaft tuning. If your knock is high, you move your rest up. If your knock is low, then you move your rest down. Same thing, chase your knock for your left and your right. If your knock is right, you move your rest to the right. And if your knock is left, you move your, knock, your rest to the left. And everything should come out good. Uh, if you're hitting close together, this makes it so much easier when you go back to broadhead tuning. Uh, you might find out that when you broadhead tune that you don't have to make any adjustments, maybe one or two clicks and that's it. So that's what I do other than paper tuning guys and that's what I like more than anything. And then I'll go back through and then I'll do the rest of my tuning and everything before hunting season comes in. So hope this helps you guys out. See ya.